गट्टू फर्स्ट फ्लाइट समर वेकेशन वॉज गोइंग ऑन गट्टू चिंकी वर बोर्ड सिटिंग एट होम द सन वॉज स्ट्रॉन्ग आउटसाइड सो मॉम वॉज फॉर बिडिंग डेम टू प्ले आउटसाइड सो गट्टू चिंकी वर बोर्ड I'm bored sitting back at home. There are still one and a half month left for the summers to end. Don't know how we will spend so many days sitting back at home. Thus, a few days passed by, and one evening, suddenly, Dad dropped a bomb. Oh no, not a real one. It was a surprise bomb. Children, after four days, we are going for a trip to Kullu Manali. Hearing this, Gattu Chinki was surprised. Really, Dad? Yes, hundred percent true. Wow, Dad! You suddenly gave us a big surprise today. Seeing the excitement of Gattu Chinki, Dad said, "Wait, wait! Hold your excitement, kids. The second bomb is on its way." And the second bomb? Hurry up, Dad! We can't wait any more. <laughs> After listening, you will start flying in the air. Now, just tell us, Dad, what's the big secret? Then listen. We are not going to go to Kullu Manali by any traveler bus or train, but by flight. The second surprise bomb was so strong that Gattu Chinki could not believe it. Dad, you are not lying, right? No, children. He is telling the truth only. He has even booked flight tickets for the four of us already. Yes, we will be going to Kullu Manali by flying and return back flying. Hearing this, Gattu Chinki was super excited. They started flying here and there in the house, and within seconds, they ran out of the house. Hey, children, where are you going now? Let them go. They are so happy that they cannot contain this happiness to themselves. Must be going to tell Hari and Gaddi. You are absolutely right. Both of them were going crazy. They were so bored sitting back at home. It is good that you planned this trip for Kullu Manali. Really? Just the kids were getting bored. You were not getting bored. Stop messing. Let's not joke now. After four days, we have to leave. Let's start packing. When Gattu Chinki came home, both of them started packing their own stuff, and in no time, both of them got ready with their heavy bags. When Dad saw both of their bags, he was surprised. So many heavy bags. What have you kept in these bags? Nothing, Dad. Clothes, towel, blanket, mat, toys, and books. Shoes, sandals, piggy bank, and everything. Kids, we are going there for a couple of days. We are not going to settle there. Take out everything immediately and take what you need. What luggage do they have anyway? Just their clothes. Gattu Chinki, put your clothes in our bags. Gattu Chinki got angry on hearing this. Why, Mom? Why can't we take all our stuff? Taking too much luggage is not allowed on the flight. How will the plane fly with so much of your heavy baggage with so many loads on the ship? Think about it from this perspective. And anyway, over there we are going to stay in a hotel. Towel, blanket, everything will be available there. Then why should we carry the burden there? We are just going to enjoy over there. Gattu Chinki agreed to the words of their parents, and after removing all the items, they put the necessary things in the bag of their parents. Three days passed, and finally the day had arrived, which Gattu Chinki were eagerly waiting for. Today, for the first time in life, Gattu Chinki were about to fly in an aeroplane. Both were very happy and excited. Everyone reached the airport by taxi. Gattu Chinki had seen the airport many times from outside, but they were seeing it from inside for the first time. The airport was big and beautiful. There was a huge crowd of people running here and there. Still, there was not much dirt to be seen. The airport was very clean and beautiful. Dad, there's so much dirt on the bus stop and railway station, and look, it's so clean in here. Children, we are the people who spread dirt. But be it bus stops or airports, we should not spread dirt anywhere because all these services are only for us. We should take care of them by becoming good citizens. Everyone's ID tickets were checked at the gate and they were let inside. Inside, baggage checking, body scanning and other formalities were completed. 
and Gattu Chinki's aircraft was also standing on the runway. Gattu Chinki sat in the bus with mom dad. Why are we sitting on the bus? Are we going to Kulu Manali by bus? Hearing this, mom dad started laughing. <laughs> hey, this bus will drop us to the aircraft. Then what? The bus reached near the ship. Gattu Chinki were watching the airplane so closely for the first time. It was quite huge. Wow! Let's take a selfie. Dad took a selfie with the airplane and everyone took their seats in the plane. Gattu had got a window seat, so Chinki was upset. Don't worry, I will sit here for the half of the journey and later you sit here. Seeing the wisdom of the children, their parents were happy. After a while, there was an announcement. Everyone sat ready wearing their seat belts and soon Gattu Chinki's flight took off in the air. The airplane was floating in the sky above 20,000 feet. Only clouds were visible from the window. It was a beautiful sight. In between, the air hostess was coming, serving breakfast, juice and chocolates. Gattu Chinki's stomach got full after eating and drinking. I have decided that I will become a pilot when I grow up and I will become an air hostess. Okay kids, be whatever you want to. But first look at that cloud. See how big it is. Gattu Chinki saw a cloud outside the window and soon both of them also got lost in the cloud and started dreaming of touching the clouds while sitting in the plane. Train Journey Gattu Chinki had travelled in their dad's car, on their uncle's bike, had travelled in a rickshaw, had travelled in a bus and even travelled in a plane a few days back. But poor Gattu Chinki, they had never travelled in a train till today. Whenever they used to get a chance, they used to insist dad. But dad had only one answer. Dad, when will you take us on a train? Want to sit in a train? Let's go to Savitri Garden. No dad, we don't want to sit in that little train in the garden. You always put us on the same train. So which train do you want to board? We want to sit in a real train. The one that does bug bug. The one that runs on the track with long compartments. We want to sit in that one and want to go on a bug bug journey. Gattu Chinki did not stop just saying this. They started dancing in front of dad while acting like a train. And poor dad, he got fed up with this. Every day Gattu Chinki used to watch train videos on YouTube and used to talk about the trains. Mother felt very bad seeing their condition. One day when mom talked to their father, dad said, Hey, I also desire to enjoy a train journey with the kids. But I never get leisure from office work. Enough of it. You have done too much of office work. Now take some time out for the children too. Shall I talk to Anand sir about a holiday? Or will you come home with a five-day holiday sanction tomorrow? What father would have said on this? He had to obey mom's order. On the second day, when Gattu Chinki went to school, their mother also went to school with them and met Headmaster Mishra sir. Although I wouldn't have sanctioned this leave, but Gattu Chinki had never travelled by train. You take two of my bright students and get them to travel by train. I am giving them six days of leave instead of five. Thank you very much sir. As soon as Gattu Chinki came home in the evening, mom suddenly gave them the surprise. Gattu Chinki, no need to go to school for six days from tomorrow now. But why mom? Because tomorrow we are going to Konkan at your aunt's house. That too by train. Gattu Chinki could not hold their emotions. Tears welled up in their eyes. Why are you crying? You should dance in happiness. But Mishra sir will not give us leave even for a day. Absolutely not. Because he has already given you leave. That too for total six days. When mom told the whole thing to Gattu Chinki, they went straight and hugged their mom. On the second day, mom, dad and Gattu Chinki reached the railway station with lots of luggage. On seeing them, 
a porter came forward and picked up their belongings. Why did you give stuff to this guy? If he runs away with our luggage? Hey, Chinky, he's a coolie. Didn't you see that in the video? There was a huge crowd at the place. Different types of people were roaming here and there. Some were eating, some were singing, some were standing in the queue and booking tickets. But Dad had already booked all the tickets online. Everyone behind the porter came near the Konkan Express standing on the platform. The train was long and beautiful. When Gattu Chinki started touching the train, Dad said, "Oh, come on quickly, or else we will miss the train." Then everyone went inside and sat in an AC compartment. After a while, the train started running and Gattu Chinki started enjoying. It looks like we are sitting in a boat and not a train. You are having fun. Then a man came to take food order. Dad ordered the food. Sir, after 15 minutes your food will be ready. The man went away. One station was left behind. and the konkan railway started honking its horn while passing through big mountains bridges and tunnels if the train went into the tunnel the whole train would be dark like night when it comes out of the tunnel there will be daylight night in 5 minutes and day in 5 minutes we can feel this only in the train yes that's why the fun of traveling in a train is something else And traveling in train is also very cheap. And neither there's hassle of traffic nor any problem of puncture. Exactly. But people also make the train dirty. They spit here and there after eating betel leaves, put wrappers, water bottles, etc. inside the train. This is absolutely wrong, isn't it? There's a dustbin facility in the train. We should put the garbage into it. Our Indian Railways is in the fourth position in the world. Every day, we make life easier by dropping crores of passengers from here to there. During lockdown also, train was providing service to everyone. Oxygen and medicines were delivered. Even today, our Indian Railways transports every item of need from here to there. That's why we all should respect it, and we should not spoil it. An hour passed, and Gattu Chinki got bored looking outside the window. Now they wanted to roam inside the train, satisfy their curiosity. by seeing the toilets in the train when they asked for permission from their mother and father father said yes go but will you be able to remember the compartment and one thing don't stand near the door don't put your hand out from anywhere mom yes yes i know both of you are very intelligent now go then what gattu chinki started moving in the stomach of a long snake like train listening to different languages of different people they started enjoying clapping and singing then the passengers also joined them railway railway the passing station say stop 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 thus gattu chinki joined the rest of the travelers and the tc in this fun and everyone gave lots of love to gattu chinki अगर आपको हमारी वीडियोस पसंद आ रहे हैं तो इन्हें लाइक करें कमेंट करें और सब्सक्राइब करें